Santa Mark, it's really Christmas time again. Well, you know, Santa Rick, decorating the model store sure brought back a lot of exciting memories about past Christmases. You're right, Santa Mark. I was thinking the same thing. Decorating your store is fun and exciting. It helps really put you into the Christmas spirit. Well, you know, now that we're done decorating the model store, why don't you tell everyone about the Christmas decorations? Santa Mark, the key to decorating our stores is to keep it simple. With limited space and increased merchandise, you want your customers to enjoy the atmosphere and still be able to see our products. By now, all stores should have received FO 147 Christmas Accessory Package from the Toy Warehouse. The kit includes 12 single stem red poinsettias, one dozen red Christmas ornaments, one dozen green Christmas ornaments, one dozen lacquered apples, three bolts of red, green, and white ribbon, one roll of red gift wrap, one roll of green gift wrap. To make the best use of these accessories, you will need to have garland. Most stores are expected to still have garland from previous Christmas kits. If your store does not have garland, your district sales manager can order a garland kit, FO149, from the toy warehouse. This year, we want to use the garland to decorate the sign truss system and several power towers. You'll need to cut the garland into two and a half to three foot lengths. The sail sign trusses and the feature fixture sign holder will be decorated with garland and accented with a poinsettia. To decorate the trusses, attach garland with a paper clip or thin wire-like fish line. Attach the right and left side, leaving the center to sag. Then pull up and attach the sagging center point to the truss. Then pin a poinsettia to the center point. On the feature fixture, after attaching the garland, place a poinsettia on the top right and left side. Decorate the power towers on the right and left side of the cache area in addition to the right and left side of the computer department. Again, attach garland with a paper clip or thin wire-like fish line. This time, leave the center of the garland to sag and place a poinsettia in the center area. Then, place a lacquered apple in the center of the garland and another on the right and left end. Using thin wire, pair up red and green ornaments. Then, add one red and green ornament pair on the right side and another on the left side of the center lacquered apple. Follow these same procedures to decorate the garland used on the truss system holding your cash and wrap sign. Santa Mark, why don't you tell them about this year's Christmas POP signage and about our new Toyland department. Thanks, Santa Rick. You can also review the 496 planogram for additional information and pictures on decorating your store for Christmas. Merchandising your store for the Christmas season can be one of the most difficult things to accomplish, but also one of the most rewarding. With the increased amount of merchandise, special purchase products, toys, and large increases of customers, the available floor space will be at a minimum. But this is the most exciting time of the entire selling year, and by building colorful mass displays, you will create many opportunities for impulse buying decisions. Let's take a quick tour through the store to give you a plan to help maximize your merchandising for the holiday selling season. Let's start here at the feature fixture. Each cube should have a mass display of sale items where possible. Keep them neat and full. As an item sells out, replace it with another one with mass gift appeal. Display some floor stacks of lower priced toys with a demo on top around the feature fixture area without distracting from the tabletop merchandise. These displays will need constant policing and re-merchandising. These displays should create a lot of interest to your tabletop merchandise. If your store is in a mall or has a wide front, set up some mass displays at the front entrance lease line. This merchandise could include the popular Roby Banker, Pencil Sharpener, and RC Cars. These displays should all have a working demo on top. During Flyer 497, on the opposite side where space permits, set up a floor display of our promotionally priced bookshelf speakers with a receiver and CD player. A special combination tent sign will be included to promote these items. Directly behind this floor display, if there's available space, set up the large keyboard on the floor stand and hook it up to the stereo. 
With the introduction of three new technology products, additional merchandising space will be required. A second computer desk will be added to the floor layout. This desk and the existing one will be relocated to in front of the telephone department. The telephone accessory gondola will be pushed back to where the original computer desk was. The front computer desk will be used to display the promotionally priced computer systems. The rear exposure desk, which should be the new special purchase computer workstation hutch, will be used to display the new sensation computer. Special signage will arrive shortly for the sensation. You may need to run temporary electrical strips across the floor to ensure each computer system can be demo ready. The front end cap of the telephone accessory display will be used for the sale electronic keyboards. A new sign will be sent in your 497 POP kit to temporarily slide over the We're America's Telephone Company sign. If your store has the width in the center area, take some empty shipping boxes and wrap them to create temporary floor risers. They can be used to display the handheld electronic games and fast moving toys. These risers can easily be moved as stock on hand and traffic patterns change. For additional information, review the 496, 497 planograms and the fiscal year 93 holiday season operations guide. By now, every store should have already received a large amount of toys. In addition to the temporary riser locations for smaller handheld toys, Two other major toy display areas are planned. By relocating the electrical gondola back parallel with the existing straight gondola run, you can create some extra room in the center area of the store. In this area of your store, where space permits, build a 360 degree floor stack of RC cars and the larger games. Display a demo of each toy on the top box of each pile where appropriate. Utilize some of the toy price cards as 10 signs. When building this display, be aware to stack each box so the picture can be viewed and the price sticker is facing out. The other major toy display is the 8-foot Toyland department. This area was created by temporarily moving the 40 series raw speakers to the back room and relocating your clearance merchandise to the other display areas. Respace your shelves to allow enough room for each row of toys and the new toy fact tags. These tags can be used both as a fact tag and as a tent card. They also list the batteries required, AC adapter charger, and scale mile per hour for RC cars. Many more additional toy and gift displays need to be set up to call attention to all the exciting products we have to offer for the holiday shopping season. Make intelligent use of all your gondola end caps and available power towers to show toys and gifts by product category. Special signs will be included in the 497 POP kit to help enhance these ideas. It is a lot of work and will require open communication and involvement by your entire sales staff. The fiscal year 93 holiday seasons operation guide and the 496 and 497 planograms will provide additional ideas. Hey Santa Rick, what is the best plan to tackle decorating the store? Mark, the best way to decorate your store is to have a decoration party. Pick a day after closing or several hours before opening. Have lively Christmas music playing. Pop some popcorn. Have some Coke or fruit punch for Christmas cheer. Enjoy and get into the Christmas spirit. You're right. You know, with this year's products that we're introducing, and with this year's toy selection, decorating your store for Christmas is just icing on the cake. Have some fun. Add some excitement to your Christmas sewing season. Good, Good luck, luck with Christmas, Christmas sales and, and have, have a Merry Christmas. Christmas.